Hello and welcome to the TranslatorsCafe.com channel. In this video, I will show you how to record the sound of your heart using a stethoscope and a microphone connected to it. Okay, first, the obligatory disclaimer. Of course, I am not a doctor and cannot give any medical advice. The device shown here cannot be used for any diagnostic purposes. Of course, only medical professionals can listen to the heart sounds and make diagnosis. Ordinary mortals like me cannot do such things. And of course, if something goes completely wrong, for example, the mains voltage appears on the stethoscope head or microphone and your body appears grounded at this time, this device can kill you. In short, if you are going to repeat these experiments, you have to know what you are doing. Recording heart sounds is relatively easy. You will need a good microphone capable of recording low frequencies, an inexpensive stethoscope, a recording device and headphones. It is also possible to use a piezo electric buzzer or transducer as a contact microphone. I took it from an old smoke detector. The stethoscope is not necessary if you will use the contact microphone. I tried both and discovered that the condenser microphone combined with a stethoscope worked better than the contact microphone. We will attach the microphone to the chest piece of the stethoscope using a short piece of tube. The built part of the stethoscope will be used for recording. The diaphragm can also be used. In ordinary acoustic stethoscope, the diaphragm is used to filter low-frequency sounds and to emphasize high-frequency sounds at the expense of their amplitude. However, in our case, we can use software to amplify various frequencies and to remove some unwanted high frequencies. Now, some theory. Heart sounds are generated by beating heart, mostly by shutting heart valves and the flow of blood through the heart. The process of hearing these sounds for diagnostic purposes is called auscultation. In healthy adults, there are two main heart sounds that are called first and second heart sound, S1 and S2. The first sound is produced when atrioventricular valves, mitral or bicuspid and tricuspid valve, are closed and the second sound is produced when semilunar, aortic and pulmonary valves are closed. Other sounds may be present if a person is not healthy. To hear heart sounds, a stethoscope is pressed to the chest at locations labeled with M, mitral, T, tricuspid, A, aortic, P, pulmonic, and E, herbs point, the best for S2 auscultation. Now we will connect the stethoscope head with a microphone to the recording device. Our electronic stethoscope is now ready for recording my heartbeats. Later, I will view the waveform of the recorded sound of my heart. It is also possible to view its spectrogram, that is a visual representation of the spectrum of frequencies in a sound versus time. The horizontal axis represents time, the vertical axis represents frequency, and a third dimension indicating the amplitude is represented by the color of the image. For recording and playing back, I will use ThinkLab's phonocardiography powered by Audacity software that is free and can be downloaded from thinklabs.com.
we try to show that it's pretty simple and inexpensive to record your heartbeat sound, to listen and even to view it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the TranslatorsCafe.com YouTube channel. All TranslatorsCafe.com videos are made in English and Russian. All videos are provided with subtitles in these languages, which allow using them to study technical English as well as technical Russian.